Well, my subscription for Power Director 365 is coming due in like seven days. And what I noticed was, was they wanted to automatically bill me. So when I went into my account panel on Cyberlink, and I'm looking there, I'm trying to figure out, well, I wanted to pay ahead, you know, I wanted to pay ahead. I, they were offering a deal with, you know, 30% coupon or something like that. And I thought, well, I'll go ahead and manually pay and then uh, not have to worry about this and I'd be good for another year. But when I was in my account panel, I looked everywhere. Now, unless I'm blind, I looked everywhere and I could not find where I could take advantage of this deal they were offering. And it just said, your subscription will be billed on this date. And I was like, well, I don't want to be billed on that date because obviously you're now going to charge me full price. Is that part of the gimmick? Because I paid for the subscription for one year, we'll get you and nail you. Now, at the same time with Cyberlink, you know, and a lot of other companies do this too, to where they give you hard drive space, you can put images up there, uh, video. I never ever use that stuff, simply because I know it's kind of like they're holding, you know, they're, they're, they're holding you hostage because when the membership ends, you would lose all that. So I never use anything on their servers at all. I make sure I have everything on my own computer. But I turned it off. I turned the subscription off. And I guess I have to wait until it completely expires in the seven days or so. So then basically I've got no Power Director 365. And then go buy it. Or maybe they'll send me some type of deal because I choose manual. I'm not really sure. But one thing's for sure. I could not find anywhere in there to where I could pay ahead. I even tried going to the front page and selecting the subscription and they gave me a message saying you're already paid you cannot pay for this email address so then you know my brain's thinking like okay so what does that mean I got to register under a different email which is not a problem I got a hundred of them but register under a different email and then go buy it to get the deal and then just let the other one expire I mean that's kind of going through my head a little bit but one thing's for sure, if you're on the subscription basis like I am, make sure you log into your My Account section of Cyberlink and turn off the automatic payment option there and set it to manual. In other words, you want to pay it yourself when you feel it's time. Because I'm seeing it as if they automatically renew, you're going to pay full price, which is going to hurt, where if you just wait for it to expire and then you find a deal for 30 40 percent off you're going to save more money doing that or register it under a different email and go through that process but there was no way that i could manually pay under what i've got right now i guess i just wait for the seven days to expire not really impressed by that i mean and in a way they're kind of losing money doing that you would think there would be a place if I want to pay for one year, two years, three years, whatever, that option would be there. But I don't see it anywhere. So if I'm missing something, let me know in the comments. If any of you guys know, where do I click? Or do I have this pretty much what I'm seeing? It just looks like they want to nail me for full price and they don't want me taking advantage of any of these coupons. That's kind of what I'm seeing. So after I get this sorted, I'll start putting some videos up, but... If you're on a subscription, this is something you might want to consider too. When the seven days is done, I'll make another video letting you know and I'll link it up to this one. But I'll let you know what's going on and how I'm actually dealing with this. But Cypress Link seems to be dropping the ball here. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.